Good morning, friends. I'm so happy to be sharing a story with you this morning, and I can't wait to see you all on Monday. I miss you all so much. Today, we're going to be reading Stargazers by Gail Gibbons. What do you notice about the cover of this book? It looks like it's nighttime, and I see lots of stars, and I see people looking at the sky. Maybe they're looking at the stars. Let's open up the book and find out. Not long after the sun sets, the sky becomes darker and darker. On clear nights, points of light begin to appear in the sky. These points of light are called the stars. Star stars give off heat and light because they're hot gases, which make the stars shine. This is a big star right here. Stargazers are people who watch the night sky. Some stargazers are called astronomers. Astronomers know a lot about stars. Looks like they're using a telescope to look at the stars. I wonder what a telescope does. Some stars are big and some stars are small. Did you know our sun is a big, bright yellow star? Our stars are so far away from Earth that their distance are measured in light years, not miles. The sun is eight light minutes from us. The next star is four light years away. Some stars are billions of light years away. Let's look at this picture. Here is our earth. This is where we live. And this is our sun. This is our sun that we see in the sky. Some stars look brighter than others. Also stars are different colors. Some look red, some are yellow, and others look white. What do you notice the people doing? I see this girl in the yellow, she's using binoculars. Over here it looks like maybe they're taking some notes. Stars look like they twinkle. Kind of like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, the song. This is because the air around the earth, called the atmosphere, as starlight travels through the atmosphere, it makes some stars look like they're twinkling. This part around our Earth, that's our atmosphere. That's where our stars are. During the night, the stars move across the sky from east to west. So if you go outside tonight, you might be able to see some stars in the sky. This is our Earth moving around our sun. The Milky Way seems milky because it looks like a white cloudy band across the sky. This is our Milky Way galaxy. You can also use a telescope to look at it sometimes. A galaxy is made up of many billions of stars. Our planet Earth is part of the Milky Way galaxy. Do you see all those stars in the night sky right here? Sometimes if you look up in the night sky, you can see things called constellations. The stars make pictures in the sky. This looks like it's a bear. Over here, we have the Little Dipper and the Big Dipper. I'm sure some of your families might be able to help point out constellations in our sky. Oh look, it looks like there's more. This constellation is called Orion. This constellation over here is called Canny's Major or Greater Dog. Looks like they have a drawing of the constellation as well. There are 88 constellations in total. 
Stargazers and astronomers can locate the stars and constellations in the sky by looking at star charts. These are star charts. They're using their telescopes and star charts to find constellations. About 2,000 stars can be seen while looking up at the sky on a clear, dark night. Some stargazers use a pair of binoculars to get a better look at a star or a small group of stars. Other stargazers and astronomers gaze through telescopes. So these small stars in our sky look like this through the binoculars. These small stars in our sky look like this through a telescope. Let's get a better look. This is how telescopes work. Some telescopes are huge. They are in observatories where astronomers study the sky. This is a really, really big telescope. Most telescopes can take pictures that astronomers can study later. These people are astronomers and they're looking at stars in the sky. People can go to planetariums to find out about stars. They sit in a circular room. The lights dim and everyone looks up. A special machine shows the motion of stars and planets on the dome ceiling. What a beautiful sight. At night, the sky sparkles with thousands of stars. The more you study the stars and constellations, the more you will learn. It's fun to be a stargazer. Look. Looks like there's a puppy enjoying the stars as well. You see a very bright star right here. The end. Thank you so much for allowing me to read the story. I hope you guys enjoyed it.